Hello and welcome to Daily Inspirations. I am Michelle Dawn and today is Jane's Agenda subscription unboxing day. I'm really excited. I had to skip um, a couple of months because of finances, but I'm really, really happy to be able to share this with you today. And I also have my buy one, get one free or 50. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> it was the 50% off planner insert sale which is kind of like buy one get one for you so anyway I got two for um, my 2024 planner I'll show you these real quick before I open the sub box um, because okay remember I have to not touch the adhesive because I am sensitive to chemicals However, I will say now that I have done quite a bit of healing um, from my mold exposure, I, I am not as sensitive as I used to be, but uh, it's not gone. So <laughs> I still have to be careful. Anyway, this is the weekly number 19 and I got the January through December set. Um, this is the planner that I currently use as my my everyday planner my weekly planner it's called the executive agenda and I will show you that I actually have my, my to-do list my inbox open right now but this is this is the executive agenda I, I hope my lighting is okay because it just doesn't look right right now. But anyway, that's that. I like this week a lot. It's so pretty. Okay. So that's this one. This uh, for um, 2024. I'm really excited. And then this one is going to replace my health tracker, which is currently... A mini so I'm going to use the classic size instead um, I feel like some of the categories I need more space to write so oh, I, I don't know why I took that cardboard off I like having that there so this is the weekly number 23 January through December 2024 and this Oh, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it is um, number 23. It's a weekly. Okay. Uh, let me get it closed, nice and close. Okay, so the dates, of course, are across the top. We have three vertical boxes. So this is a vertical layout, um, which I will split into um, two each. So I will have six categories still. And then down on the bottom here, on this side, we have a tracker. So uh, that's what I'm going to use for my, um, my wellness stuff, like yoga, journaling, meditation. Um, I don't track water because that's all I drink and I drink like a gallon a day. So, um, I'd, I'm not sure I might add some other things to that, but then here's a task list. I will probably white out tasks and just put some um, highlights or uh, lowlights of the week. And down here at the bottom, I have a space for notes as well. Um, I'm going to be putting the my step count just on the, the very, very bottom of the bottom row just in case you're curious you haven't seen it yet this is my current um, Jane's agenda health tracker let me let me get a blank page okay so one two three four five categories in this layout um, this one was undated and I have, I put my notes over here and my, this little spot says dinner, but I put my steps down here. So I'm, I, like I said, I need more room. 
what did I do? Okay, there we go. Um, I need more room to write, especially um, like in the pain and symptom categories. Um, I just, I, I wanna go back to drawing my little stick person to show where my pain is for the day. So anyway, that's that. I'm excited to use that. And um, you know there's gonna be a 2024 planner setup video, so look out for that. Okay, and now, without further ado, we get to the unboxing of the subscription, and I am so excited because this is a fall box and, you know, just my favorite time of year. Okay. So, for those of you who love my kitty Nova, which is not really my kitty, it's my daughter's kitty, but um, I am living in my shuttle bus full time now, permanently. Um, property taxes went way up on the house. The house payment doubled, we had to sell. Um, the husband and kids are living in an apartment and I cannot do that because of my health. Um, too many toxins. I, I have to wear my my um, respirator mask when I go over there all the, the whole nine yards. So the cat is staying at the apartment. So you guys are not gonna see her in my unboxing videos anymore. Um, you might see my dog every now and then, but he, we, we have, I have two, one here and one one here and one right there, but they don't, they're not like interested in what's going on inside the box. So you probably won't see my animals much unless it's on my shorts, my YouTube shorts. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew this was going to be in there, but I did forget. And this is so pretty. Okay. So let's just get all of this out of the box. Oh, and see, even though I paused my, my, um, subscription for a couple of months the team still remembered to package my things in the non-adhesive um, plastic wrap I'm so excited I love you guys at Jane's Agenda oh by the way um, I am an affiliate for Jane's Agenda and um, I apologize that it took me so long to mention it in this video um, my affiliate link is down below in the description to let you know, I do make a little bit of a commission, even just the little bit that I make, um, is, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me when you all shop using my link and, um, that extra little bit helps me too. So. All right, so the first thing I'm going to open is this really awesome straight edge ruler. Um, it's really nice. I think it's metal. I don't want to like scratch it or something, so I don't want to stick the scissors right in there. Here, let's just be really careful. Okay. There we go. I didn't scratch it. Okay, good. So we have um, centimeters on the top, inches on the bottom. See that okay? It is a six inch ruler, 15 centimeters. And the back is a conversion table. So inches to millimeters. Um, oh, it goes like all the way, it starts with one all the way to 32. So check that out very cool I like um, having straight edges and I like that this is six, six inches rather than 12 because I can fit it in more things okay I'm I'm probably going out of order because I probably should open this first but I I can't help it I want to open this one <laughs> I should have opened the scissors first I could use them Oh, this is so beautiful. So this is the vegan leather um, pen pouch in black. Oh, okay, so I have the, um, uh, what would you call this color? It's like a, like a, 
mm, really off pink. I don't know how, like a creamy pink. Okay. So yeah, look at that. Here, I'm gonna open the zipper all the way. The zipper is also black metal. Very, very nice. I, uh, I don't have much in my, in this one right now. Um, because when I was moving, I just kind of, when I was moving out of the house and into the bus, I just kind of like took things and put them in random places. So anyway, I'm excited to get organized and I'm excited to use this beautiful pen pouch, which will fit the ruler. See, because the ruler's six inches instead of 12. So, ta -da! but I don't want to hide it. So I'll take it back out. Oh, it's so nice. It feels so soft. Just really love it. And then the Jane's Agenda, um, janesagenda.com is debossed into the material here. Oh, so pretty. Okay, then the scissors. These are nice. Ooh. So somewhere in this bus, van, bus, I don't know. I, uh, everybody calls it something different. Um, I lost my, um, my, my good scissors somewhere in here. I don't, I had them, I was using them and now they're gone. So these are from, I think CVS and they were really cheap and they don't work very well. So I'm excited about these because they're really, really nice. Like I can tell just by, let me, here. This is just the, uh, the cover page, right? Oh yeah, that's super nice. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Very, very nice scissors and again, a nice size. I'm not sure I would put them in here though because they're, I mean, the tip isn't like super duper sharp, but I, I don't know if I, I would risk like damaging my beautiful pen pouch. Okay, and next we have the October card. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like a photograph, like a really, really pretty photograph. I mean, I, I think that's what it is, but you know what I mean? Like it's not actually a on picture paper. It says October, it has the pumpkins on the doorstep. And thank you on the back. And then we have three of these black paper clips. I don't, I don't know why, but it feels like it's so dark. Is it dark in here or is it just me? Let me know in the comments if my video is really dark. So we have three of these teardrop shaped paper clips. They are black. I love getting paper clips in my Jane's Agenda subscription. I just do. Okay, and then we have Rudenaja Hi. Rudenai. Rudenai. Which me which is Lithuanian. Oh 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 that's not a an I, that's the bracket. Okay, so Rudeneha. I was wondering why it was I at the end. Okay, anyway, Rudeneha, which is Lithuanian, it's a verb, and it describes the way nature and or the weather begins to feel like autumn. Oh, that's cool. I love that. And a beautiful October calendar card. So nice. I'm going to attach these guys with paper clips so I don't lose my paper clips while I'm showing you the rest of the box. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, look at that crow or raven. Are crows and ravens the same thing? Another comment for the, another, another question for the comments below. Is a crow and a raven the same thing? Oh, this is, this is just, I love fall so, 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 so much. Oh, okay, so this is a vellum dashboard with black ink on it. Uh, also, my my bus ate my my reader glasses. Um, literally had them yesterday. So uh, let's see if I can. Sorry about that. I uh, my phone hasn't been updating the my my photos and videos to the iCloud so my storage was full and it just stopped recording so anyway um this is this is um the raven um poem why am i having such a poe poe edgar Allan poe who i my memory is shot today I, I actually have a been battling a pretty bad headache all day but anyway so I guess this is a raven not a crow because oh no it says crows right on the okay so I don't know maybe they are the same thing <laughs> okay anyway once upon again I don't have my readers we're gonna get through this as, as well as good as as well as I can I think that's who brain dysfunction once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten love, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if some, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muzzer, <coughs> excuse me, tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly, I remember it was the bleak December in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly, I wished the more the morrow. So t I wished for tomorrow. Eagerly, I wished the morrow. Vainly, I had sought to borrow. Oh, and it's like cut off. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool too. Okay, and then this says, oh, this is cool. It's textured. Oh, uh, and I'm holding it way out of frame. Sorry, my bad. So this one is cardstock. It is a, a, it's not white, okay? See, this is white and this is like a cream color. It's not sepia, but it's not black and white either. So it's like some somewhere in the middle and it says the gathering of the crows one for sorrow two for joy three for a girl four for a boy uh, oh okay five for silver six for gold seven for a secret never to be told I've heard that one before I'm not sure who the author is or if there is or if it's just a one of those things that was handed down over time. But the, isn't this pretty layered on top of each other? It's just gorgeous. It's like the um, the dark gorgeousness that I love about fall. <clears throat> and and the Halloween season. Okay, next we have some more dashboards. Who else loves fall? I do miss the changing of the leaves down here in the desert. Um, however, I don't miss that at the same time because leaves are moldy. <laughs> and, and I'm allergic to the um, 
the dead leaves because of the mold and everything. So anyway, I miss how beautiful it looks, but I don't miss how I feel every fall. This is a beautiful stack of blankets. Oh, it's so pretty. Ugh. It just feel it just like feels like cozy and homey, you know. Double sided cardstock. And this one, ooh, I love this one. This one reminds me of going up north in the fall. Double sided again, cardstock. Oh, they're so pretty. And again, if you wanted to, you could take your vellum dashboard and layer it over something else if you wanted instead of the crow slash raven but I think I'll keep mine I'm going to keep these two together because I love them like that okay next we, there's the seems like there's a lot of things in this one I don't know what this is but this is a really cool design like you have the the raven again and this beautiful <clears throat> architecture I'm excited about getting back into YouTube and filming some plan with me content and some um, <gasps> this is just no oh my gosh this is so cool this is double-sided with this like faint design in the background and it's it's note paper. How cool is that? It's so pretty. And I love that it's um, even though it's note paper, it's still stuck still stuck. Still punched for discs. Ooh, I didn't see this cool moth down here. <gasps> Wow. Oh, it just makes me want to write like poetry on it. Oh, I love it. Sorry, I I just really do love that very much. Okay, now this one, annual reminders. Okay, this is good. I need annual reminders. Let's see. Okay, annual reminders. There are three, three sheets on uh, cardstock. Yeah, they're on. These are on cardstock. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have one that's annual reminders, one that's seasonal reminders, and one that's quarterly reminders. So um, I won't read them all to you, but I will just kind of randomly pick a couple here so like number one is birthdays and this is a list of essential yet easily overlooked tasks add them to your planner every year to make sure they get completed um, vehicle maintenance family events um, personal projects insurance renewals mm, that's a good reminder annual reviews another good reminder yeah, vehicle maintenance. Okay, so these are really good things to add to your planner. I am going to put these in my reference section in my planner. These are seasonal reminders. Seasonal priorities may vary based on location, lifestyle, and personal preferences. This list can serve as a starting point. So I will just get a couple from each category. Spring. Of course, your spring cleaning, annual health checkups, renewing subscriptions, um, spring wardrobe, fall, back to school, um, cleaning and storing outdoor equipment, reviewing updated financial goals. Ooh, see, these are some, some of these things I just don't think of on my own. So this is, <laughs> this is a really good thing we have this. Um, starting holiday planning, summer, I, I went out of order, I apologize summer travel and vacation plans revisiting yearly goals and making adjustments health and fitness goals planning for fall events and holidays and then winter um, holiday planning winterizing home and vehicles setting financial goals for the new year 
planning winter getaways and planning for tax season. Not fun, but a good reminder. And then quarterly reminders. Adding these tasks to your planner at the end of each quarter will help you stay on top of your priorities. Okay, so I'll go in order this time. End of quarter one, which would be in March, you're going to do things. Okay, so these have a, um, like a title and then an, a description underneath. So you have, for example, review annual goals, assess your progress on your yearly goals and adjust if necessary. This, and again, this is at the end of quarter one. So now I'm just going to read the title and not the description. Financial check-in, health assessment, decluttering, professional development, end of quarter two, which is June. Sorry, I'm only far away from the camera so that I can see it because again, my readers are missing. Um, Mid-year review, vacation planning, financial review, home maintenance, skill development, end of quarter three, which is September. So now, Goal assessment, budget check, health update, holiday prep, personal growth, and end of quarter four, December, year end review, goal setting, financial planning, seasonal tasks, and self-care. These are amazing. Okay. One last thing here in our stack. Last but not least. Okay. I, I like this already. I see a um, grocery list here and um, your meal you could do your <clears throat> excuse me meal tracking or meal uh, planning I will probably actually use mine for meal tracking because I don't eat that I don't have a lot of different foods that I can eat just yet so um, my meals are essentially the same pretty much all the time. My, my snacks uh, sometimes vary. Anyway, so this is a, a um, here, let me get it close for you. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and notes. And then there's um, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Sunday. You can see that and then this side is gro a grocery list with your all your little check marks so you can take it to the store and there is a dotted line here where um, you can fold it while you're planning or and or let me see if I can get that right on the line there so yeah you can fold it in your planner but I think okay in the in the back would be the back of the grocery list has more spots for more groceries and then you have a notes page on the back of the meal prep side or meal planning side so what I would do is cut on the dotted line here and then take this grocery list to the store rather than any kind of fold situation and there are quite a few sheets of that oh this is so cool okay so what I'm doing different today is I'm not going to put any of this in my planner just yet because I'm going to make an entirely separate um, last quarter planner prep video so I will be putting in this stuff and my October November December planners and creative journal um, and we'll go through all of that together so that's it for today isn't this box amazing if you love fall um, I, I am sure that you would love this box and everything that came in it I'm I am really excited about this particular dashboard set though this is my favorite thing in the box um, Anywho, that's it for today. I hope you will all join me next time. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel and um, helps me 
So I appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay inspired. Bye.